Uh, okay, I'm going to talk about this guy again because I didn't go into some detail that I forgot in the other video. So, first off, let's start at the bottom. I wish they had painted the blue all the way up until here, but the Remco version, which this is based on, has an upper portion that's the same color as the tread section. And also, I'm going to um, let you hear all the lines, even though they're the same as the original gray one. I'm going to turn this a little this way, because the lighting is just way too strong coming out of this. A function of an environmental control robot is to supply all of data pertinent to this particular field. I'm doing this one button at a time. I mean, one press. Programming data insufficient. One press of the button at a time. I will accompany you. You may need protection. Of course you can. Due to war conditions of memory bank, compliance impossible. My power supply is getting very weak. You can hold the button down for until it starts talking, then it'll go through all these tracks automatically. Emergency. I am a cybernetic servo mechanism and computer. Affirmative. Whoa, that's bright. Astronomical scanning data indicates that you are now observing Omega Nebula. It would be against the prime directive of Robotex to expose human beings to danger of any kind. Warning! Warning! Launch time, T minus one minute and counting. I do not sleep. It is not one of my functions. Danger, danger, Will Wilson. I must warn the others, there is a dangerous alien among us. I think that's the last one. The function of an environmental yeah. control robot is to supply all data pertinent to this particular field. And we just turn that off. Now the other thing is the claws. The claws probably would have been a lot cooler had they been clear. They had red claws, metallic looking claws, and clear. I think clear would have probably been the coolest choice for this. Now the other thing is about this is I wish they just had foregone the voice track completely and not installed it and instead put a motor in it, you know, with a little either press a button it goes around or whatever or just a remote, like toy cars, you get a $10 toy car remote and make it go all around your kitchen floor. So I think it would have been cool if they gave us a remote with a motor on the bottom, on the inside, instead of all that yapping, because the original Remco didn't have any voice track. He just pressed a button, turned it on, and went, went around your floor. I think I covered everything I wanted to say and show about this one. And so that's it. Good night.